Hey guys, my name is Nico, and in this video, I'll show you how to set up manual campaign on Facebook ads. Now, let's get started. To set up a manual campaign, you need to go to the ads manager. To go to the ads manager, you need to go to adsmanager.facebook.com. In case you cannot see this window, you cannot find it. Uh, you can just click on the little hamburger window right here where it says O tools and you need to find ads manager. You need to navigate to the ads manager. You might not, you might not see it here. So what you need to do would be like to scroll down and just find it. So once you go to the ads manager, you'll be able to see a window that looks very similar to this one. So the first step to the setup would be to go to this button where it says create and click create. So here you need to choose the objective. Usually, most of my campaigns are optimized for sales. So here I'm going to select sales. I'm going to click continue. So once I click continue, uh, I'm going to see a window that looks exactly like this. So you can choose between Advantage Plus campaign or you can choose manual campaign. So this tutorial is about uh, manual sales campaign. If you want to see how to set up a Advantage Plus shopping campaign, go check it out in my channel i have a video exactly where i teach you how to set up advantage plus campaign so here we're setting manual sales campaigns so i'm just gonna click on this little uh, gear icon and i'm gonna click continue um the first thing i want to do would be to give my sales campaign my manual sales campaign a name so i'm just gonna leave it the way it is uh, categories usually i leave this empty uh, bidding type i just leave at auction Campaign objective, I usually use sales, uh, advantage plus catalog ads, um, A-B testing. I'm just using this the way it is. And here from the budget, what I usually do with my campaigns, I use ad set budget. You can choose between campaign budget and ad set budget, but for a better control, I choose ad set budget. And I'm going to show you why in a second. So the first thing, so pretty, very straightforward. Um, I'm just going to leave pretty much everything the way it is and I'm going to click next and on the next window, this is where I do my targeting and where I choose my campaign objective. So let's see what's going to happen. I'm going to choose website, um, performance go. I'm going to choose maximize number of conversions. Although you have like other options, like 99% of the time, this is what I use. Maximize number of conversions. Uh, the pixel, I'm going to use my Envy Marketing Pixel, which is the pixel I installed on my website. The conversion event here will be purchase. So I'm optimizing my campaign for sales. And this is extremely important because you want to choose the, your end goal when you set up those campaigns. Dynamic Creative, I'll, I'll just turn this off. Some of the e-commerce guys might know a lot more about it, but I'm usually an info business like webinar, like information products type of guy. So I don't know much about Ecom and I'm not shy to say it on this video. So whatever. The next thing that I want to do is select my budget and schedule. Usually I'm going to leave it at the default, which is $20. You can select a start day, start date. You can schedule your, your campaign for somehow somewhere in the future. Oh, I did something. So yeah, uh, you can select your um, campaign for somewhere in the future if you choose the date. So let's say I want to run this campaign on July 1st. The system isn't letting me do it. So let's say 30th, you can select the time. You can also set the end date. You can tell Facebook when to pause your campaign. So let's say I want to pause this campaign on July 2nd and I could do the exact time. Audience. So here is where it gets interest. Usually you want to do to the audience. You want to switch the audience to the manual controls. So I'm going to do switch setups. And it is extremely important because you have a much better control when setting up your campaign. So here location, I'm going to change it to the United States and feel free to target the location you want to target. So I'm going to do United States. Uh, let me do it. The next thing um, I'm going to do, I'm going to scroll a little bit down. I can change the age. So the age, I'm going to usually do it like 18 to 65. I can ch change the gender. I'm going to keep the gender the way it is. 
I can include custom audiences or exclude custom audiences. For example, here I can exclude anybody who was uh, already on my on my website. I could exclude people who engage with my Instagram. I could I could exclude people who submitted the application who bought my products. I think you get the idea. So the next thing the next thing um, I'm gonna do would be to target interest. For example an interest that is relevant to my business, let's say, would be people who are interested in email marketing. So I'm gonna do the email marketing interest. Um, and here I'm gonna change the ad set name to email marketing because I know with this ad set, I'm targeting uh, only email marketing. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do, usually, when it comes to languages, I keep just English here. When it comes to placement, I'm playing with different placements. So here I can do show more options uh, and I can target different devices. I can target uh, different, um, let's say, mobile phones. I can target only people who are connected to the Wi-Fi. I can target different platforms. So what I usually do, I usually play with the placements a little bit. So I usually target feeds and I usually keep the reels sometimes off. So sometimes I turn off the reels off because I've noticed that they're not converting. I'm going to turn off uh, the in-stream ads for video and reels and I'm going to turn off the search results and also sometimes I turn off apps and sites. So this is the way I usually run it. I don't like running reels because when people are at reels, I'm just getting very mixed results. I don't say that they don't work for this type of product. I did a lot of tests and they're just not working for me. So this is how um, I'm gonna leave it. Uh, skippable ads uh, included. This I'll just leave empty. And here from this menu where it says suggested ads, you can easily import ads. Uh, so if I click on the little I'm not sure if you are able to see, there is a little button here. You'll be able to import ads. Uh, if I click uh, import all ads, I'm just gonna import all the ads that I, that I see here. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just gonna leave it empty and I'm gonna click next. And so here we're gonna set up, we're gonna set up uh, the ad, the ad number one, and the ad will be, uh, and I'll be promoting my new new book. So here, identity, where it says identity, I'm gonna choose my Facebook page. I'm gonna choose my Instagram Instagram account, ad setup. Um, I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. I'm gonna select uh, menu. And here where it says flexible, single image or video Caruso collection, I'm gonna keep it at single image or video. So the first thing that I need to do would be to add the URL. So I'm just gonna grab the URL that I wanna paste and I'm gonna paste the URL. The next thing that I need to do would be to add media. So the media I'm gonna add, I'm just gonna click add image. Um, I'm gonna click upload uh, and let me see where I have the, the image that I wanna use. So I'm not sure where I saved it, maybe desktop, yeah. So this is the image that I'm gonna use. It doesn't let me for some reason. Yeah, so it's now processing. I'm gonna click next. This is how the image will appear on different placements. So it's not perfect, but I'm just gonna keep it as the original. Uh, I'm gonna click next, where it says um, automations, AI stuff. I keep the AI stuff off for my business because my, us my visuals sometimes look messy Usually that's the one I like, the image filter. It just makes it brighter, you can see. So uh, basically what it does, Facebook is just like changing your creative based on their information, what they think will convert for you better. So I'm gonna click done. The next thing I wanna do would be to add primary text. So I'm gonna copy my primary text. Um, I'm gonna place it here. So people can say that this is a book. So maybe if I don't like it, I could do edit media and I could just like optimize the different placements. But for now, I'm just gonna keep it 
uh, the way it is. So let me click done. So this is my primary copy. I have the URL in the description. It's gonna ask me to do a headline. I'm gonna say download a courses ebook for for 99 only it should be only for in 499 let's do only 499 description i'm going to keep it very very simple so here I'm just gonna type courses allow me to break free and it's gonna appear if I do just desktop some people will be able to see it some people might not be able to see it so I'm not sure what's the case here this is the Facebook right column and from the ad preview I can see uh, how the how my ad looks like so very very simple stuff the call to action I'm just gonna do it the way it is, learn more, although it makes sense to keep it a download, but I think learn more is much better in my experience. Because when you use learn more, it's kind of like more of a soft call to action. So here I have download the courses. So if people wanna just, if they like the offer, they're gonna click it. Uh, enhancements, it says two out of seven. Let me turn off relevant comments, oh yeah show more enhancements relevant comments i'm gonna turn this off and i'm gonna click save so destination the final destination that i want to send people is uh, my website phone number i'm just gonna leave it at none tracking i'm tracking with my pixel i want to double check and now i'm gonna click publish and once this campaign is published i'm gonna show you what i usually do so in this ad campaign, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna duplicate this ad and I'm gonna do four to six different variations. And on each variation, uh, I'm gonna use different copy. So here I have three uh, variation of ad copy uh, and I'm gonna use different images and different videos uh, to showcase what works, uh, to, just to see for myself uh, what works best. Uh, once I'm done with the images, what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna go on ad set level, so I'm gonna click this tab here, and I'm gonna go on ad set level, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna duplicate uh, this campaign, and I'm gonna say duplicate with current settings, and I'm gonna do, let's say, if I wanna test five different variation of targeting, um, I'm gonna do four uh, copies, I'll just, I'm gonna select original campaign, I'm gonna do four copies, um, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click publish. And the only thing uh, I'm gonna change would be the interest I'm targeting. So once my campaign is published, uh, this is the way I'm gonna see it. So I'm gonna start reworking those uh, campaigns. I'm gonna say here, instead of email marketing interest, uh, I'm gonna switch it to, let me go, go back to targeting. So instead of email marketing, what I like doing, would be like clicking suggestions and here I'm just gonna do online advertising and here I'm just gonna do online advertising and marketing I'm gonna rename it and the only difference I have would be to change the interests and what I like doing would be naming my ad set after the interests I'm targeting and here I'm just gonna show you one more example um, I'm gonna scroll a little bit down instead of email marketing I'm gonna target lead generation because I'm targeting people who wanna generate leads and get clients for their businesses. And so I'm gonna click publish. And pretty much this is the idea. I believe you got the idea. So if I open like Draw.io, I'm gonna show my basic um, campaign setup. So the way I do it is usually um, I have the manual sales campaign so here oh that's very ugly so here i'm gonna have the manual sales campaign so one campaign each each my camp each of the campaigns i said i'm targeting five interests 
let's say interest one, interest two, right? And you got the idea. Uh, and each interests they have like one to five ads, one to five ads. So this is the idea behind uh, the manual sales campaign. Uh, and people do this because they wanna test what interests targeting works for them best. All right? You think I got you got the idea? I'm not very good at drawing, so I'm gonna save you the time and I'm gonna end this video. Uh, I did a test earlier this month and I tested uh, what campaign performs better. I tested Advantage Plus against many campaign setup. So if you're interested to see this video, it's gonna be somewhere on my channel. I hope you're gonna find it because I won't have the time to uh, do the cards and so on. So yeah, my name is Nico. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and like all my videos, watch all my old videos in order. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon, yo. Bye for now.